8th and February 9th. If that paperwork is not in our office by February 9th, unfortunately, they don't get certified. Okay, I saw a hand. Linda? Just a quick one. Okay. Thank you. Okay, moving along to the next uh, bylaw amendment one. Now, if you will look on page, well, it's really the second page of your handout. I think I reversed these from what you received at home in the mail. So, amendment one is the one that has to do with the two representatives versus the one representative on the executive board from the each congressional district. So do I hear a motion concerning uh, amendment number one? Okay, Randy Kelly has moved um, bylaw amendment one. Do I hear a second? Okay. Vivian Davis figures has seconded that motion. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So you were not seconding. Okay. She says she will second and remind us that the instructions of there should say amend Article 3 party organization by deleting the last two sentences. Okay? Now, are there any other questions or is there debate? You, 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 unless you're real loud, come up here and use the microphone. Floyd Love from District 1. Um, this came from the executive board, and Lloyd, as I explained to you, I'm not going to enter into debate. I'm, I explained to you earlier today that we have two statements in the bylaws which say different things. What is before you to be voted on, if we strike those words, then that's what we've been doing for about the last 20 years. We've been following the other section of the bylaws, not this. So what this is, in my way of thinking, is simply a clarification of what we've been doing and not saying opposite things in the bylaws. Okay. Another hand back there. Bob? Madam Chair, may, may, uh, may I move that we table this for the time being? There seems to be confusion about that. Second. Okay, it's it's fine to move to table it, sure. Yeah. Are you moving to table? Okay, Bob, Bob Parker has moved to table. Do I hear a second for his motion to table? Okay. Hold on just a second. Let me write down now. Oh, Val, you got that? <laughs> okay, motion to table by Bob Parker. And Bill Krause is moving to second. Bob Parker made the motion to table, okay? And then Bill Krause is seconded, okay? Now, the motion before you, okay, Bob? One more question, I'm sorry. Do I need to? No. If you table it, it lays on the table until you vote. You move to bring it back from the table. Okay. You don't. You. If you were to set the time to a certain date, then it would come up under old business on that day. But if you simply move to table it, then the body will have to vote to bring it from the table. Now, anyone can resubmit an amendment, 
And I, I'm glad you mentioned that because someone sent me an email asking me why I didn't send out an amendment that was defeated or maybe it was, it was not considered in 2015. Well, we don't just keep sending amendments to you over and over and over and over. If, if an amendment is not considered or is defeated, we don't send it back to you. You have to resubmit it. Okay? Okay. Okay. Well, this is not debatable, so we're not debating the motion to table. I think he's getting some clarified information here. Okay. The motion before you is to table Amendment 1. Okay. Hang on. I've got two people. Vivian, do need that break? Well, unfortunately, you, you, you know, you know, Vivian, that you can't pull back your second. When you second a motion, it, all it does is put it on the floor for discussion or for consideration, and 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 then it then it comes before the body to either adopt or reject. So, Dr. Reed, you're next. What I wanted the chair to do was to clarify the effect of this motion to table. Okay, is that permissible? If you could do that, let everybody know what this motion does. If you table it, what happens? And if you don't table it, what happens? Okay. Now, let me tell you, you know, I've probably been on this exam for me not as long as some of you, but a long time, almost 40 years. And a long time ago, we used to elect, we had these congressional district meetings and we elected one person in each congressional district who was our representative to the executive board and that person called meetings and did whatever in the in the congressional district. When the DNC passed the parity rule, and parity meant you had to have an equal number of women and men in everything, then a lot of changes were made in the Alabama bylaws and every other state's bylaws. Alabama decided that it would have co-chairs for each congressional district and they would be elected at the organizational meeting. Now the organizational meeting occurs every four years when you elect the chair, the vice chair, everybody. We decided that each congressional district at the end of the meeting would go to the various corners and sides of the room and each district would elect two people, a male and a female, as co-chairs for the district. And y'all, you know how I remember that? And a few of you in here are old enough to remember this too, you're just not confessing. I remember it because we always laughed at who got put in the back of the room. You know, and whoever laughed most at the people who got put in the back of the room, we were sent to the back of the room next. So, you know, it was a no big deal. Okay. 
That little grouping of people then elected two people, a man and a woman, to be the representatives from the congressional district. And these two people then took the place of what had been the one person before. Now, let me just lay it all out on the table. About a few months ago, I don't remember when, a few weeks ago, I got a letter from Congressional District 5. And Congressional District 5 had had a meeting of the SDEC members and had voted to elect someone who is on this committee as their chair. And they said because he was their newly elected chair and because he was a county chair that he should be put on the executive board. Well, we already have two people representing Congressional District 5 on the executive board. And so does every other Congressional District have two people, with the exception of District 6, which is going to elect someone today, uh, one person who resigned. So what we have in our bylaws, if we don't adopt this, then we have to go and oust all the people that are elected by their congressional district and have every congressional district go get together for the next few weeks and I guess get one person and then if we don't have enough males or enough females, we'll have to do something else. I don't know that it's a very workable situation, but you know, what this, what this does, it states what we've been doing for the past 20 years, like I said. I don't think there, I, I, I really don't think there's anything sinister about this. I think what happened when the DNC passed the parity resolution, that we came back to the state and we passed it and we did, we've done everything with one male, one female on everything. But we forgot to take out the old language is what I think happened. I don't know that for sure. So the, the problem now is we've got Congressional District 5 who says we've elected somebody that we want to put on the executive board. But we've already got a man and a woman on the executive board. So if we change, if we throw the two of them out, then we've got to go throw out the two from every other congressional district and kind of start over. Okay, I see that I have some discussion now. Gala, this was the meeting of the District 4 SDEC members that occurred back in 2013, 2012. Kay, Kay and Jim Spearman were elected as the two congressional representatives for District 4. And they serve, Kay and Jim Spearman serve on the executive board for District 4. And I know that they have had a meeting in their district because they told us about that. Now, you know, I'm like I said earlier, just no skin off my teeth, I'm just saying that we've got several people in here who represent a congressional district on the executive board. They were elected by their district. I didn't elect them. No one else elected them. They were elected by their district. Bill. Those, those congressional district elections leave out the county chairs that are specified in this thing. You haven't fixed it. It needs more study to do it right. 
Bill, I think you misunderstand what's nope. written there. Nope. The county chairs and anybody who wants to meet in Congressional District 5 is more than welcome to meet. You know, I see Sherry Coon standing up. Sherry's in District 3. Anybody can get together in a district. Anybody can get together. You can have all kinds of activities. You can have the county chairs involved in anybody else. The problem is who's going to serve on the executive board. And that's what we've already got two people serving from each congressional district on the executive board. It's not going to fix it. So, Mayor. I certainly understand the problem, but isn't there a motion to make on the floor? Yes, there is. And, and unfortunately, we've really strayed into debate. And Good. Would he not be turning into the plan? Yeah, I think you are exactly right. So sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, and we're about to vote. Okay, the top of the question, and I don't think there's any need to vote on closing debate. You're ready to close it. Let's go on with the motion, which is to table Amendment 1. All those in favor of tabling Amendment 1, say aye. Aye. All opposed, say no. No. Okay, I would say the no's have it, yeah. not tabled Amendment 1. So now we go back to the motion, which is to adopt Amendment 1. Okay, Call, question has been called. All right. All, and I'm going to move on with it because we pretty much talked it through now. All in favor. choice of whether to give an explanation or not. You, you can't force them to now, Maitland. We, we have had lots of amendments turned in that haven't had explanation. We've had lots turned in with an explanation. I do not know 12 years, at least that I've been here, that there's been any amendment except the Bible chair where they have not had a reason necessary. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay. Now, Okay, Sherry. Thank you. Okay, the question has been called. All those in favor say aye. aye. All opposed, no. no. Okay. We are strongly against closing debate now. Uh, we, are, we have closed debate. Now we're moving to the motion, Amendment 1. All those in favor of Amendment 1, which deletes the last two sentences, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. No. Okay, you have passed Amendment 1. 
Now, let's do it.